Hey guys, Orvis8. Uh, just a quick video um, on my nylon uh, Mohawk 10C uh, re uh, rescue repair video. Um, so it's finally finished. I uh, brought it back as best as I could. Uh, I'm just showing it off on video right now. Uh, if you guys want to see reference, go in the description below. I'll have a link to a forum post that I made. I have lots of before and after pictures of all the parts and everything. Uh, this is just the video portion of it. Um, at the end of this video I'll have a quick little shooting video. Uh, note that I don't have any magazines for it still so when I was doing the video I had to manually load each round so it wasn't you know like jamming or anything. Uh, I just I don't have magazines for it yet because I didn't want to buy them until I knew that the that the actual rifle itself worked and it does so that's why I'm making this video. Uh, so anyway so let's just go from left to right. This is the right side. Um, this was the least damaged side of the rifle. So as we can see, the stock's still kind of okay. Then we get up to uh, the receiver. Uh, you can see that uh, the the lighter areas is where the heaviest rust was that I had to remove. Uh, the action is super smooth now. Uh, I now have a trigger, obviously. On the bottom we have where the magazine goes, the magazine release. Uh, the stock on the front was way too badly damaged to save, plus when you got the barrel out, the whole stock kind of went like this. It started, uh, you know, leaning to the left, so I just, I, because the only thing that holds the barrel on is this one screw on the bottom, which I have a little piece of cloth and I'll get it on in a minute. Um, I just decided to chop it off because I hold on right about here anyway so it didn't really matter for this whole front part anyway so as you can uh, we now have here obviously the camera's not going to pick it up but if you check the the pictures in the uh, description uh, on the form for the link in the description uh, it says Remington 22 only here I didn't even know that was there prior because of the rust um, but that's there, so that's kind of cool. Um, then we have the barrel. Up here is very heavily rusted. You can see I removed it. We have the iron sight. And let's flip it over. So we'll start with the butt stock again. Um, I just I put some hot glue in here to make it kind of flatter on both sides because it was bubbling uh, and all that other stuff. So I just put some hot glue on it and I cut it down. Um, eventually I'm probably just gonna paint the stock itself um a different color just to get rid of all this but uh for now I'll just leave it we have this side of the receiver um this side was pretty bad yeah, as you can see most of it's pretty grayed out except for little little patches but uh still uh then we have this half I'll put a little hot glue on this just so it's easier to uh hold on to because it was all bubbly and scratchy so I put some hot glue on it and then took a razor and kind of you know shaved it down so it's in uh, it's flat against the rest of the stock so that worked out pretty well we have the iron sights up here the uh, the screw to adjust the iron sights now works before it was locked in with rust so now that works then we have this side of the barrel and that's about it the top looks pretty good the action so uh, one thing that I did notice is that this rifle, um, the metal was so uh, brittle from it being in that fire that the safety latch um, on the disconnector inside this rifle uh, snapped off when I was taking it apart. There was a little metal piece I couldn't figure out where it went until I was looking at the disconnector. So the safety switch, while it does click, doesn't do a damn thing uh, so it doesn't currently have a safety on it I don't know if I will am willing to drop the money in to buy a new disconnector because it's the metal is too brittle to weld on um, so for right now I'm just gonna leave it uh, you know just have to practice you know proper safety you know don't aim the rifle at anyone at a range obviously and you know always treat it now like it's hot uh, but uh, you know there's plenty of rifles out there that don't have safeties so I don't really see it as a problem and it's not really worth for me the investment for this plinking rifle to put the investment in for a, a safety but uh, that's it guys so 
thanks for watching and uh, remember to rate thumbs up and subscribe uh, go into the description check out that forum post uh, let me know what you think and uh, tell me uh, you know how you think I did you know uh, that's that's about it so now we'll cut right on over to uh, the quick little shooting video that I have see ya